Hi everybody and early Merry Christmas to you and welcome to the gym at Bush High School in Sugarland, Texas. This is VipeFortBend.com coverage of Fort Bend ISD High School basketball. We've got a boys game, the very first district game in District 26A between the host Bush Broncos and the visiting Dulles Vikings. I'm Roger Smith, glad to have you with us in this game that brings in George Bush as the hosts with a record of 14 and seven and Dulles comes in at six and 11. But of course, none of the games that either of these teams has played thus far really matter. All that matters is being one of the four best teams in District 26A and then advancing the playoffs and seeing what kind of damage you can do once you are there. VipeFortBend.com coverage of this game between Bush and Dulles is brought to you this evening by Xfinity, the future of awesome. By First Tire and Automotive with four great locations in Fort Bend County, Katie Cinco Ranch on Eldridge Road in Sugarland, Greatwood and also First Colony. They're all open Monday through Saturday. So for the best prices on tires or really for anything that your car needs done to keep it running at its very best, go to firsttireandauto.com. We're also brought to you by Archer Volkswagen. Just inside the Sam Houston Tollway on the Southwest Freeway, southbound side, Archer Volkswagen has been open since 1956, and they are ready to serve you. You'll feel like family when you're at Archer Volkswagen by the Needville Insurance Agency, which can bring you the very best rates on your car and home insurance. They shop all kinds of carriers. Whatever your situation is, they can get you the best rate, so call Bradley Stavanaugh and his team at the Needville Insurance Agency. You can also visit them on the web at needvilleinsurance.com. We're brought to you by Office Depot, which takes care of business every day so we can bring you Fort Bend County sports every week. Roger Smith with you, Bush and Dulles. We'll set it up for you a little bit more when we come back after this break. Thanks for being with us on VibeFortBend.com. Things. 10% off any and all repairs or $15 off an oil change. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. First, The First Tire and Automotive family wishes you happy holidays with these Merry Christmas of savings. 10% off any and all repairs or $15 off an oil change. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. First Tire and Automotive has supported school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. FirstTireandAuto.com You work hard, so you deserve the good things in life, like getting an amazing deal on awesome internet. That's why there's never been a better time to switch to Xfinity. Get the fast and reliable internet you deserve for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. And ask how to score 12 times the speed for the same internet price when you add Xfinity Mobile. Just imagine, faster downloads, more streaming, the possibilities are endless. Or learn how to get a $200 prepaid card when you get gig speed internet during the Xfinity Black Friday sales event. That means powering a house full of devices when everyone's home this holiday season. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now because you deserve awesome internet. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. 
Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 12 6 Restrictions apply. New Connect Internet 50 megabits per second customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Reduce speeds after 20 gigabytes of mobile usage. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. You are the master of the multitask, the champion of making it happen. Taking care of business is not for the faint of heart. Still, you take care of it. Taking care of business. But who takes care of you? Office Depot Office Max. We supply you, copy you, and tune you up. Members get 2% back in rewards on everything, and we mean everything. We take care of you, so you can take care of business. Office Depot Office Max. Taking care of business. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavanaugh with Neville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. Back inside the gym at Bush High School where the Vikings and the Broncos are warming up for the first game of their district schedule. Dulles coming off a season in which they did not make the playoffs, but the Bush Broncos were in the playoffs as they have made it a habit to do. And they are led by their outstanding senior God's uh, guard. <laughs> he's a good guard, but he's not a God, okay? <laughs> Zion Bourgeois, he is 6'1", weighs 170, and he is back to be the major floor general for these Bush Broncos as they look to get back to the playoffs and do some damage. Bush had some amazing height last year and they still have some pretty good size this year, but not quite the same as they had, had back in the 2020 season. I guess I should call it the 2020-21 uh, season. By the way, we wanna give you some program notes here so you know exactly what we're doing and I, I hope that you're tuned in to us because this game was scheduled to start at 5 p.m. And as it stands, it's probably going to start, I don't know, about 15 minutes earlier than that. But that's kind of what happens when it's the final day of instruction before the two-week break for Christmas and New Year's. And so they try to get games scheduled for the afternoon rather than the evening. So this game will tip off probably... Uh, my best guess would be 4.45 is when it will start. And this is going to be a double header today on VibeFortBend.com. As at about 7 o'clock, we'll go over to Austin High School and bring you the game between the Travis Tigers and the Austin Bulldogs. And, you know, 7 o'clock is a target time. I'm going to get over there as quickly as I possibly can. And I don't know if I'll be walking into the Austin gym after a game has started or if I'll get there in time to get the opening tip-off for you. But we will have coverage 
here on VibeFortBend.com, your broadcast home for Fort Bend County sports. Then on Monday, we've got a big one in the afternoon, 1 o'clock tip-off time for the Foster Falcons taking on the Hightower Hurricanes. Again, 1 p.m. start on Monday afternoon, and after that we'll be out of commission for at least a week as we celebrate Christmas. So it'll be pretty much a dead week starting on Tuesday of next week all the way through Christmas weekend, and then we'll get it going again. And by the way, speaking of Hightower, I'm sure you would join me in wishing luck to the Katy Pato Panthers, who are one awesome football team, and they're going to be playing for the state Class 5A Division I championship. That game is tonight, starting at about 7 p.m., so as soon as I get home from the game between Travis and Austin, I'm certainly going to turn on my TV and see how the Katy Pato Panthers do against College Station. That is going to be one heck of a game. College Station undefeated at 15-0. and And Pato has an almost spotless record. They are 14-1 with their only loss coming to the Manville Mavericks. And also in football, a state championship will be decided in the last game tomorrow. They have a triple header again tomorrow, starting with the Class 5A Division II game, then the Class 6A Division II game, and the nightcap. For Class 6A Division 1, it'll be the North Shore Mustangs taking on Duncanville. That is a true clash of the Titans, a heavyweight battle, and that's going to be very exciting to see. So what we have here is the completion of the transition from football season into basketball season. So we will step aside one more time and get you underway with the Dulles Vikings taking on the Bush Broncos first game of the district 26A schedule. I'm Roger Smith. This is VibeFortBend.com. Glad you're with us. We'll be right back. You work hard, so you deserve the good things in life, like getting an amazing deal on awesome internet. That's why there's never been a better time to switch to Xfinity. Get the fast and reliable internet you deserve for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. And ask how to score 12 times the speed for the same internet price when you add Xfinity Mobile. Just imagine, faster downloads, more streaming, the possibilities are endless. Plus, you'll save hundreds over AT&T. Or learn how to get a $200 prepaid card when you get gig speed internet during the Xfinity Black Friday sales event. That means powering a house full of devices when everyone's home this holiday season. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now because you deserve awesome internet. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 12 621 Restrictions apply. New Connect Internet, 50 megabits per second customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Compares monthly service charge for Xfinity, 600 megabits per second to at t 500 megabits per second, each with one unlimited mobile line for a year as of 10 621 Reduce speeds up to 20 gigabytes of mobile usage. The First Tire and Automotive family wishes you happy holidays with these Merry Christmas of savings. 10% off any and all repairs or $15 off an oil change. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. First Tire and Automotive has supported school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. All of us love sports. But not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much, but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. 
This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. All right, the teams are on the floor and we are ready to go from the gym at Bush. Getting ready to go. Starting lineup for Bush, Aaron Valentine, Val the Headsmith, Ryan Hill, Rania Obu, and Zion Bourgeois. Bush will be going from left to right here in their home gym in the first quarter. Each quarter, eight minutes in high school basketball. And jumping center for these Dulles Vikings is David Apega, and the tap is controlled by Bush. Ryan Hill will rock it across the timeline. Zion Bourgeois has it, moves down into the right corner, kills his dribble, gets the ball back over to Aaron Valentine. Over in the opposite corner now, Rania Obu. Obu, a cross-court pass to Bourgeois. They are moving the ball around the perimeter. Valentine with a between-the-feet dribble, drives the right restraining line and a scoop with the left hand. It's Obu. Obu going in on the right restraining line. He gets the first basket of this basketball game. Now it is Nico Walls bringing it across the timeline for the Dulles Vikings. Gets the ball over to Carter Truscott, who is a pretty good football player for the Vikings. And they're rattling one home along the baseline. Nico Walls scores first, and we are tied at two, less than a minute into the game. Zion Bourgeois stops at the left restraining line. Fadeaway jumper, in and out, no good. And the rebound to the Vikings, and they quickly move it down the floor. A pega ahead of the pack. And now he makes a move in the lane, and he is blocked by Hedspeth of Bush, and the Broncos get the ball back. Now it is Obu with the behind the back dribble. Stutter step and scoops it inside, no good. Rebound grabbed by Hedspeth. His putback try is no good, and now the Vikings have it, and now a held ball near midcourt. It's Nico Walls tying up Obu, and the possession arrow favors the Vikings because Bush controlled the opening tap. Two to two, about a minute and a half into this game. The first district affair between Bush and Dulles. Now with the wild hair, Josh Lee near the midcourt circle. Hands the ball off to Nico Walls. There goes Apega driving to the right elbow and dishes and a nice feed to Carter Truscott who uses a head fake to get himself free and scores and the Vikings are up by a score of four to two. Now Ryan Hill has it. Driving through the free throw circle. Pulls up his jumper. Is in and out. Apega grabs the rebound. He's the big man for Dulles. And he looks like he is a rebounding presence thus far. But he can also play out away from the basket. He drives the right restraining line over in the right corner. It's a three on the way. And it's no good by Josh Lee. And here come the Broncos after grabbing the rebound. A whistle and a foul. It's an offensive foul on Obu of Bush. So the Vikings leading 4-2 here in the early going. Get it back. This is the first of what we anticipate as more than 20 regular season basketball games, both boys and girls combined. We are your home for Fort Bend County High School Sports. VikeFortBend.com Nico Walls kills his dribble and gets it over to Josh Lee as the Vikings kind of pull the ball out and try to get the defense to spread out. There's a drive down the right side of the free throw lane and a travel travel by Carter Truscott. And we're still at 4-2, to two, low scoring game thus far. The clock is at 5.20 to go in quarter number one. This is our debut broadcast of the 2021-2022 season. Aaron Valentine has the ball near the top of the key, but Leaves it for Bourgeois, who drives into the paint. And an over-the-head pass that is, it misses his target. Val the Headspeth didn't really know that it was coming. And it flies past the baseline, a turnover for the Broncos. Little bit of pressure in the backcourt as the red-uniformed Vikings bring it across the timeline. Terry Montgomery in the game for the Vikings, and he drives in for a layup. Misses, a Pega tries to put back. Does not get it to go, and Bourgeois comes away with the rebound, and finishing off a break. No good, as the shot was put up by Aaron Valentine. Could not get it to go, but he was fouled, and he will go to the free throw lane. 
free throw line, rather. All right, from the angle at which I sit, it's difficult to see the official signal of the jersey number of who committed the foul, and they have a place on the scoreboard to tell who committed the foul but they're not activating that part of the scoreboard. Valentine hits the first free throw and gets Bush within four to three. Taking his time, ready to put up free throw number two, and it's good. We're all knotted up at four. Bush and Dulles, and the Vikings bring the ball up the floor. Nico Walls across the timeline, moving across the top of the key, and now lays it off for Josh Lee who goes up and he is fouled and I believe, no, it's not a foul. Correction, it just went out of bounds and Lee will inbound it along the baseline. Into a Pega and now over to Terry Montgomery. Inside to a Pega, lost the handle on it, goes up strong through a double team and it's a held ball and the ball will belong to the Broncos. I believe that was Aaron Valentine, and he got all ball as Apega tried to go up strong. So with a score tied at four, Bush on offense once again. Around the horn they go. Obu sends it over to Ryan Hill. They try to pull out the Vikings defense. Valentine thought about a jumper from three-point land. Now he gets it over there to Headspeth. Dishes it off, and now it's in the left corner, and a long three on the way, and it's good. Ryan Hill makes it 7-4, the first three-pointer of the game by either team. And we are past the halfway point of the first quarter. A pega top of the key, drives the right elbow, lays it off there for Josh Lee, whose three-pointer rattles out. And the rebound, Valentine gets it to Bourgeois. He pushes it up the floor along the left side. All the way to the hoop, and a score. Zion Bourgeois makes it nine to four. Less than three and a half to go before the end of the first quarter. Bush turning up the defensive pressure a little bit in the backcourt, but Dulles certainly handles it. There goes Nico Walls, kills his dribble near the baseline. In heavy traffic, Josh Lee with a feathery floater, and it goes in to make it nine to six. Vikings trailing Bush. Bourgeois with no pressure on him, walks it across the timeline right there at the center court circle with the Bush Broncos logo. And he gets the ball over to Ryan Hill. Kills his dribble, now gets it to Obu. Sends it over in the right corner. Valentine thinking about the three. Now drives to the free throw line. Gets his man in in the air, but he tweaked his ankle just a little bit and he's called for traveling. Broncos unable to score on that possession. They still lead it, though, 9-6 with 2.39 to go in quarter number one. Don't forget to be with us tonight at about 7 p.m., Travis and Austin, the second game of our doubleheader. We may have to start it in progress. We'll just have to see. Nico Walls with a between-the-feet dribble. Now a switch on defense by Bush, and it is now Josh Lee near the midcourt circle. He's guarded by Kyrie Murray just into the game for Bush. Three-pointer on the way by the Vikings. It's no good, but they grab the rebound and an offensive foul. It's called on Carter Truscott. The official rule that he tried to elbow his defender out of the way. 2.09 to go in the first quarter and it's still 9-6 Bush. Broncos walking it up. Ryan Hill talking with Zion Bourgeois, Zion and Ryan. The guards on the floor. They're just playing catch right now. There's a quick entry pass. And it's Kyrie Murray trying to get a shot. And a three-pointer was on the way by Obu. And it's in and out, no good. And rebound Vikings. Ball tipped out of bounds by Bush as the Vikings bring it up the floor. 1.48 to go in the first quarter. Roger Smith with you on VipeFortMen.com. Terry Montgomery. Bounce pass into a Pega, gets it off to Lee, but his, his running one-hander is too hard, no good, rebound Bush. Here come the Broncos, Ryan Hill to the left restraining line, and his pass is too hot for Kyrie Murray to handle. Goes off his hands, out of bounds, and we're still stuck at 9-6, to six. Bush on top, 
And the Vikings with the ball with 1.38 to go. Nico Walls, he's guarded by Murray. Leaves the ball off for Josh Lee. Lee to a Pega. Now he sends it out there for a three-pointer and it is on the way and it's good by Nico Walls. I knew a long time ago it was good. I just had to look through the traffic and make sure it was Nico. That ties the game at nine. With about a minute to go in the corner. Bush whipping it all the way around the perimeter. Now in the right corner, Zion Bourgeois in traffic. Kicks it back out. And Murray's three-pointer is no good. A peg with the rebound. Here comes Viking offense. Quickly back up the floor. Inside to a Pega. Goes up strong. And they say that he was fouled on the floor. Not in the act of shooting. He did go up and put it in the hoop. But it was before he went up that the foul was called. 49.4 to go in quarter number one. Walls to inbound and the pass is tipped by Bush and they come up with a turnover. That was Raheem Mercurius and there is Bourgeois with a little right-handed scoop off the left side of the hoop and it's good. Makes it 11 to nine. 34 seconds to go in the half as Josh Lee brings it up. He's got wild hair. A Pega near the top of the key. Turns around. He is double teamed. Hands the ball off. Now Josh Lee has it on the left sideline. They may be playing for the last shot. Clock is down to 16 seconds. A Pega gets it into Montgomery and he lays it off for Nico Walls who scores. We're tied at 11. Seven seconds to go. Bourgeois across the timeline. Backs out. Hands it off. Ryan Hill puts one up but not in time. Our first quarter ends tied 11 all. This is VipeFortBend.com. We'll be back with more of Bush against Dulles right after this. You work hard, so you deserve the good things in life, like getting an amazing deal on awesome internet. That's why there's never been a better time to switch to Xfinity. Get the fast and reliable internet you deserve for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. And ask how to score 12 times the speed for the same internet price when you add Xfinity Mobile. Just imagine, faster downloads, more streaming, the possibilities are endless. Plus, you'll save hundreds over AT&T. Or learn how to get a $200 prepaid card when you get gig speed internet during the Xfinity Black Friday sales event. That means powering a house full of devices when everyone's home this holiday season. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now because you deserve awesome internet. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 12621. Restrictions apply. New connect internet 50 megabits for second customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Compares monthly service charge for Xfinity 600 megabits per second to at t 500 megabits per second each with one unlimited mobile line for a year as of 10621. Reduce speeds up to 20 gigabytes of mobile usage. We see all you do to get work done. Whether it's keeping your office clean or redesigning your space for three or 300. Our business is to keep business going. Buy online and pick up in store or get free next business day shipping at Office Depot, Office Max and OfficeDepot.com. The second quarter is underway. Bush and Dulles tied at 11 in the first district game of the boys basketball season. Nice little give and go inside to Terry Montgomery of Dulles. He puts it up, he's fouled in the act of shooting. The shot no good. But he'll get two shots. Terry Montgomery, 5'9", senior. Waiting on a substitution for Bush. Somebody who hasn't taken his warm up top completely off, which makes it hard to read. It'll be Jadindu Okorafor as the first free throw is up and good by Terry Montgomery of Dulles. Puts the Vikings on top, 12 to 11. Okorafor steps in. Montgomery spins it, free throw in the air, off the back iron, rattles off, no good, and the rebound to Bush. Grabbed by Raheem Mercurius. And the Broncos can take the lead. Well, they can't now because they turned it over. It's off the hand of Kyrie Murray. 
And the Vikings leading by 12 to 11. Inbounded in the backcourt to Josh Lee. Josh Lee guarded by Murray. He does get it across the timeline. Now gives the ball up to Terry Montgomery. Montgomery with an entry pass to Apega. Somehow hangs on to it. Surrounded by defenders. Puts up a shot. It's no good. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touched by the Broncos' Ranya Obu. By the way, one of the officials uh, noticed there was some sweat on the ball and he's drying it off on the vinyl pad behind the basket. I've never seen that done and now he's going for a towel. Montgomery ready to in the bound, inbound the ball for the Dulles Vikings. Slaps the ball, looking for an open teammate and gets it into Apega, who kicks it out into the corner. Three-pointer passed up by Carter Truscott, but he's still got the basketball, gives up his dribble, and he's called for a double dribble. Vikings still lead it, 12 to 11, but they just turned the basketball over. Zion Bourgeois listening to his head coach, Brandon Gay. Calling out a play, now moving to the top of the key, sends it way over into the corner. Now there's an entry pass and it works. It's a two pointer for Raheem Mercurius, the 6'3 senior guard. That puts Bush on top 13 to 12 and a three pointer by Josh Lee, in and out, no good. But the Vikings grab the rebound. Apega fighting inside, looked like he was fouled. And now there's a loose ball, it goes out of bounds. Last touched by Dulles. Nico Walls really hustling, diving for the basketball, but he was the one who last touched it. Broncos lead 13 to 12, and now they will bring it up. Aaron Valentine and Zion Bourgeois working in the backcourt for the Broncos, who are not pressured at all. Kyrie Murray gives up the ball near the top of the key. Okorafor way off in the left corner. Top of the key jumper in and out. No good by Bourgeois. But Okorafor grabs the rebound and hands it off to Murray for an easy two. Three-point lead for the Broncos, 15-12. 6.08 to go, and we've got a timeout to wipe up some spilled sweat right over in front of the Dulles Vikings bench. By the way, you're gonna be hearing from the Bush cheerleaders because they're right in front of me. Vikings trailing by three, inbound the basketball. Carter Truscott brings it across the timeline. Nobody coming out on him. Aaron Valentine is guarding him. Nico Walls has it. Now lays it off for Apega, a little floater. Beautiful with the right hand as his head was behind the back backboard but he reached with his long right arm and put it in for two and the Vikes now trail 15 to 14. Aaron Valentine driving to the right elbow now across the free throw line or four in the corner drives to the left restraining line his pass is tipped but he manages to keep possession there goes Bourgeois into the land of the Giants and he lays one off a little bit too soft off the front iron no good and here come the Vikings trying to get back on top. They have a substitute in the game, Greg Ukpong in for the first time. And Apega goes up strong and he's fouled by Okorafor. That two pointer will count and Apega will go to the line. Apega's shoe came off as he was scoring and getting fouled at the same time. 16 to 15, Dulles on top and Apega. The big man with the free throw and it's off the front iron, no good. Rebound Okorafor for the Broncos. 5.06 to go before halftime. Ryan Hill gets it into the forecourt for the Bush Broncos. Okorafor with an entry pass. And the Vikings steal it away. Here they come. Carter Truscott pushing it for the Vikes. Now he pulls out as he gets into the paint. And a little floater, no good. Rebound to Pega, and he stepped on the line. Good call by the official. We saw it. 
it was clear that he did step on the line. Valda Headspeth was maybe gave him a little bit of a nudge, but no call, and that's really all that matters. By the way, they're having trouble with a, a lot of moisture over beyond the baseline at the left end of the floor. And they get a towel out and wipe it up, and hopefully we won't continue to have slippage because of that. Aaron Valentine with a bounce pass into Ryan Hill. Pressure in the backcourt by Dulles, but easily handled by Bush. Long pass to a quarter four in the right corner. Now they whip it around. Valentine, three-pointer on the way. Back iron, no good. Rebound comes down to the Vikings. Ukpong gets it into the forecourt. And Terry Montgomery pulls up, gets it into a Pega, fighting through the defense. He was triple team, thought he was fouled, but somehow uh, Dulles comes up with the loose ball, but now Bush steals it away. Okora four ahead of everybody. Scoop, no good. Whistle and a foul, 4-11 to go, 16 to 15. Dulles on top, we'll be back on VibeFortBend.com. The First Tire and Automotive family wishes you happy holidays with these Merry Christmas of savings. 10% off any and all repairs or $15 off an oil change. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. First Tire and Automotive has supported school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. FirstTireandAuto.com. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Welcome back to Bush High School. We're with 4.11 to go in the first half. It is 16 to 15, Dulles on top. Terry Montgomery walking the ball up the floor, but guarded closely by Kyrie Murray. Now he's in the forecourt between the rings, moves to the left restraining line, puts it up, and it's blocked by Headspeth. And here come the Broncos. On the run, Headspeth gets it back. Free throw line jumper, good. And the Broncos are back on top, 17 to 16. 3.45 to go before halftime in this first district game of the District 26A season. By the way, some of you might have tuned in and thought we were gonna start at five o'clock and that's what was supposed to happen, but they started earlier at about 4.45. So we are in the second quarter with 3.25 to go and now Dulles scores again. Carter Truscott. Pretty good football player, carried the football a lot, and he scores right there to put the Vikings on top again, 18 to 17. Vikings missed the playoffs last year and trying to get there this year. Aaron Valentine between the rings for the Bush Broncos kills his dribble and gets the ball to Obu. Obu now shovels it off and the shot rattled up by Ryan Hill and it goes in. Bush on top by a score of 19 to 18. By the way, if you're in public education and you made it through the first two nine-week periods or the first semester, whatever you want to call it, congratulations. Bush gets a steal, and now it's Obu with a three-pointer on the way, rattles out, no good. Rebound comes down to the Vikings. Truscott, little hesitation, stop, start, gets across the timeline, guarded by Valentine. Throws the ball deep in the right corner and a three-pointer is in and out, no good by Taylor Ford, who's in the game now. And we're approaching the two-minute mark. 19 to 18, Bush on top with the lead. Entry pass to Valentine off the glass, no good. Hetzbeth the rebound, no good, but Valentine the follow. The Broncos really attacking the offensive glass and now they have a three-point lead, 21 to 18. Two minutes to go. Vikings working the ball around the perimeter now deep in the corner. It is Nico Walls and the shot up. It is no good by Truscott, but somehow the Vikings get the ball back. And a foul inside, I believe, as Ukpong tried to go up. And actually they called three seconds. 
Three seconds to call on the Dulles Vikings, and so the Broncos have it back, leading 21-18. to Twenty-six A basketball. First district game for both teams. Aaron Valentine gives the ball up to Bourgeois. Bourgeois with a little jab step. Now he moves toward the top of the key, sends it over to the corner. And now over in the left corner. The three-pointer is on the way, and it's good by Murray. 24-18, biggest lead for the Broncos with 1.15 to go. Now a cross-court pass to Josh Lee, who has re-entered the game. Almost traveled. And a pass thrown away. Tylen Pierre, a Tylen Pierre rather, into the game. And that leads to a missed shot by Bush at the other end with less than a minute to go. Vikings trailing 24 to 18. But they have the ball and will probably play for one shot. Josh Lee moving it from right to, right to left. Now back the other way. Gives the ball up. A Pega outside the three-point line. Backing it up, trying to stretch the defense out. Josh Lee now has it back near the midcourt circle. They certainly appear to be playing for one shot. The final shot of the half. Kind of like the four corners. The clock now down to 20 seconds. Josh Lee side to side dribble. Number one guarding number one as Bourgeois hounds him. Now it's Pierre with the ball. Gets the ball over to Taylor Ford. Three seconds left. Dulles needs to get the shot up in the air. They don't. Bourgeois grabs a loose ball, throws it all the way down the floor. And the half ends with the Bush Broncos on top, 24 to 18 on vibefortbend.com. Glad you're with us. We'll be back right after this. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavano with Neville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavano with Neville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. Become a Vibe Insider today. Access breaking news in high school sports. Enjoy premium articles and exclusive coverage written by expert analysts and watch exclusive videos, documentaries on programs in your area. It's only $2.99 a month if you subscribe for the monthly plan. If you go for the yearly plan, it rounds out to just $1.99 a month. It costs you only $24 a year to get all of your Vibe news throughout the entire year subscribe today what are you waiting for it's less than a cup of coffee a month become a vibe insider 2.99 a month 23.99 for the whole year hey it's vibe 
We will see you at the games. You work hard, so you deserve the good things in life, like getting an amazing deal on awesome internet. That's why there's never been a better time to switch to Xfinity. Get the fast and reliable internet you deserve for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. And ask how to score 12 times the speed for the same internet price when you add Xfinity Mobile. Just imagine, faster downloads, more streaming, the possibilities are endless. Plus, you'll save hundreds over AT&T. Or learn how to get a $200 prepaid card when you get gig speed internet during the Xfinity Black Friday sales event. That means powering a house full of devices when everyone's home this holiday season. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now because you deserve awesome internet. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 12621. Restrictions apply. New Connect Internet 50 megabits per second customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Compares monthly service charge for Xfinity 600 megabits per second to AT&T 500 megabits per second, each with one unlimited mobile line for a year as of 10621. Reduce speeds up to 20 gigabytes of mobile usage. Welcome back, everybody, to halftime. 24 to 18, the Bush Broncos lead the visiting Dulles Vikings on VipeFortBend.com. It is our first basketball broadcast of the 2021 2022 season. The first District 26A game for both teams. And what we have for you this afternoon and evening is a doubleheader. We'll bring you the second game, and it will start at approximately 7 p.m., Travis at Austin. And the Tigers, who were outstanding during the season last year in 26A, will be taking on an Austin team in their second year under head coach Christopher O'War and trying to find their way into the playoffs. We will not have any action tomorrow. We were hoping that we would. There were a couple of girls' games that were originally scheduled to be on Saturday afternoon, that is tomorrow afternoon. And we were thinking about doing both of them, but after the schedule was first put out, they decided, you know what, uh, why don't we just give everybody Saturday off and we'll play during the afternoon since school ended at midday, basically, for all the students in Fort Bend ISD. And so we don't have any basketball action for you tomorrow but we will get it back in gear uh, back in gear on Monday afternoon at 1 p.m. as the Foster Falcons take on the Hightower Hurricanes and we'll see how the Hurricanes adjust to life without their superstar Bryce Griggs who has taken advantage of the NIL that is name image and likeness rule of the NCAA and he's basically gone pro and gone to college which used to be a violation <laughs> but uh, now if uh, you can get some money to do a few things with endorsements and so forth then uh, you can basically be a semi-professional basketball player as you play in the NCAA so congratulations to Bryce Griggs for earning an opportunity and so in this what would be his senior year he is making his way at the next level so we look forward to bringing you that game on Monday afternoon and we'll come to you with a countdown to tip-off show prior to that game because we'll have time to interview head coaches Stephen Woods of Hightower and also Ruben Fothery of the Foster Falcons. I'm Roger Smith. Glad you're with us on VibeFortBend.com. Again, don't forget that after we finish off this ball game, then we will head on over to Austin High School and do the one between Travis and Austin for you and we'll try to get on the air before 7 o'clock. And we're thinking that game should start at about 7 o'clock, but you just never know. They might start early because everybody is kind of tired at this point. Tournament basketball, final exams, all kinds of stuff going on if you are an educator or a student. And uh, congratulations, wherever you are, you made it through. And Hope that your Christmas season is very merry indeed. We'll step aside and be back on VipeFortBend.com. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavenaugh with Needville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. 
We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. Archer Volkswagen Showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. We are back, and Dulles gets a basket on their first possession of the third quarter, and they actually got a steal. David Apega flying over near the sideline on this side. And now the Broncos have it. Zion Bourgeois drives the baseline and called for the offensive foul. Great job drawing the charge. Nico Walls goes to the floor. And the Vikings trailing 24 to 20. They were outscored 13 to 7 in quarter number two. And so it was 24-18. Broncos on top at halftime, but the Vikings trying to battle back here. Josh Lee moving over to his left and a little knifing through pass and he got it over there to Walls but he was blocked by the bottom side of the backboard. Here come the Broncos quickly back and Bourgeois draws the foul. Apega goes down hard and his teammates helping him up. And maybe we need the towel again. I don't know if you can hear the squeaks where you're listening, but uh, sometimes you get both players and officials using the bottom of their shoes to try and absorb just a small amount of moisture. All right, Bush moving right to left in this third quarter, and Zion Bourgeois hits the first free throw of a two-shot opportunity. Gets the Broncos on top by a score of 25 to 20. He'll take one more deep knee bend flick of the wrist and it's good 26 to 20 and the Broncos now again match their biggest lead at six points Josh Lee for Dulles playing catch in the backcourt with Nico Walls who rocks it, walks it across the timeline and he's guarded there by Obu Obu follows him now top of the key it is Carter Truscott makes a move left restraining line stolen away Aaron Valentine for Bush and now ahead of everybody Obu Lays it in off the window, and it makes it 28-20. to 20, The Broncos' biggest lead. Josh Lee playing catch again. Nico Walls walking it up. Bourgeois on him. Calling out the play. And stolen away by Bourgeois. He's going to go all the way to the hoop. Will he dunk it? No, he's just going to feather it in. 30-20 to 20 with six and a half minutes to go in the third. Cross-court pass to Carter Truscott. Motioning his teammates around. Left restraining line, jump stop, puts it up off the glass. No good ball tip, goes out of bounds. And it belongs to the Bush Broncos. So all the momentum on the Bush side. They're wearing their home whites with the navy blue letters that spell out Broncos across the front, trimmed in orange and orange numerals on either side of their jerseys outlined in navy blue. Dulles with their all red uniforms. Inside Bourgeois. He was sandwiched by defenders. His shot is up and no good. And the Broncos, or I should say the Vikings, coming quickly back down. Terry Montgomery inside. Gets it to Apega with the beautiful dish. The score makes it 30 to 22. Bourgeois almost lost it. And gets the ball back to Ryan Hill. Now it's a handoff to Aaron Valentine. Passes up the three, now dribbles. He's between the rings. Moving in on Truscott, now gives it to Bourgeois, who is also between the rings and guarded by Terry Montgomery of Dulles. Bourgeois looking inside, drives the left restraining line, jump stop, no good. Ball tipped and comes down to Dulles. There goes Terry Montgomery. And gives it off to Truscott and he flies down the baseline and gets one to go. Beautiful dipsy do move off the window to make it 30 to 24. 
Bourgeois brings it across the timeline for the Broncos as we get under the five minute mark in the third quarter. And there is a step back jumper, Obu, no good, rebound Dulles. And after they were down 30 to 20, now the Vikings have the ball and some momentum. They've scored the last six points, but they all they throw it away. Ball went into the backcourt after it was tipped by the Broncos, but Josh Lee trying to grab it and throw a wild blind pass, but it didn't go back onto the court. It went into the stands. Not that I could have done any better. It was a very difficult situation for him. 30 to 24, Bush on top, facing some pressure in the backcourt. There goes Obu into the paint. Kicks it back out to Valentine, who drives into the paint himself. And the shot rattles out, no good. Rebound, heads Bethy's on the floor, gets it to Valentine. Now over there to Hill, drives into the paint. Fouled by Apega, who did not like the call. Apega called for grabbing Hill on the wrist. And it'll be a shooting foul for the Broncos. 4.20 to go in the third. They lead it 30-24, to 24, looking to add to it. Hill's first shot rattles out, no good. He's a 6'1 junior guard. More basketball tonight with Travis and Austin. We'll bring you that one starting at about 7 o'clock. Both free throws, no good. Apega grabs the rebound. So Apega thought it was an unjustly called foul, and, well, it works out for him because both free throws were no good. But he was charged with a foul, and he'll have to watch that, of course. And the Vikings move it into the forecourt with Terry Montgomery between the feet, dribble, drive to the top of the key, now knifes in, puts it up. Oh, what a beauty to make it 30-26. to 26. Six straight points scored by the Vikings. I think I said earlier they had scored six straight points. That was four. Now it's six in a row. And nice little give and go. Headspeth in, scores. On the assist by Bourgeois. And a steal away and an easy basket. Two-pointer by Obu who flashed in. The Vikings didn't spot him, obviously. There goes Josh Lee down the far sideline. Bounce pass inside, stolen by the Broncos. Here comes Kyrie Murray. And it's two on one, back to Murray. It's two pointer. Obu put it up there for him and he knocked it in and we're back to a 10 point lead. 36-26 Broncos and Apega loses it. Now quickly ahead, it is one on one. There goes Murray, he's fouled in the act of shooting. Terry Montgomery fouls him, I think on purpose to avoid an easy basket. It is now a 10 point lead again, 36-26 Broncos, and they will go to the line. Kyrie Murray. He's a 6-2 junior guard. Plenty of youth on this Bush team. First free throw good. Biggest lead now, 37 to 26. 3.05 to go in the third. It was 24 to 18 at halftime. Bush outscoring the Vikings 13 to seven in quarter number two and stretching the lead out here in quarter number three. Second free throw also good. 38-26 Bush over Dulles. Biggest lead of the night for the Vikings. Heavy pressure in the backcourt and now they steal it in the forecourt. The Broncos have it back. Inside to Headspeth. And he blew the bunny inside and the ball off the foot of somebody. And out of bounds, it will belong to the Broncos. Everything going the way of the Bush Broncos. And Obu will inbound it to our left along the baseline. Raheem Mercurius back into the game for the Bush Broncos. Murray. Cross-court pass to Hill. Hill trying to draw the defense out. Now looking for a screen. Gives the ball to Valentine. Drives inside the three-point circle. Beautiful spin move to the glass. It's good. Valentine scores to make it a 14-point game. It is 40-26. to 26. And a timeout taken by Dulles. We'll take it with them. The Bush fans love it. Their team stretching it out. 2.28 to go in the third. 
on VibeFortBend.com. You work hard, so you deserve the good things in life, like getting an amazing deal on awesome internet. That's why there's never been a better time to switch to Xfinity. Get the fast and reliable internet you deserve for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. And ask how to score 12 times the speed for the same internet price when you add Xfinity Mobile. Just imagine, faster downloads, more streaming, the possibilities are endless. Or learn how to get a $200 prepaid card when you get gig speed internet during the Xfinity Black Friday sales event. That means powering a house full of devices when everyone's home this holiday season. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now because you deserve awesome internet. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 12 6 -21. Restrictions apply. New Connect Internet 50 megabits per second customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Reduce speeds after 20 gigabytes of mobile usage. Archer Volkswagen Showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Thank you, Archer Volkswagen. Well, the Dulles Vikings hoping not to see so much pressure all over the court, but the Bush Broncos have turned up the heat forcing a lot of turnovers and gaining their biggest lead of the game, 40 to 26, as we get to the two minute mark of the third quarter. Now, top of the key, three pointer on the way by Obu, and it's no good, but the Broncos grab the rebound. Valentine behind the three point arc, passes up the three, and they work it around the horn. Ryan Hill now has it, guarded by Apega. Into the paint he goes, dipsy do move, and shovels it off to a teammate, Mercurius. But a foul on the Vikings as Mercurius tried to go up and score. He will go to the line for two shots with 151 left in quarter number three. Roger Smith with you. Rosie Bega, our producer at World Vipe headquarters. I guess I should say Vipe World headquarters. And the first free throw is no good by Mercurius. Stands 6-3, he's a senior. Bush not with nearly as much height as they had last year, but they seem to have a lot of interchangeable swing men. Most of them classified as guards, but they can do a lot of things. But they need to hit free throws better. Two of them no good. Long pass down to Apega. Apega off the window, it rolls out. Tough luck shot. Bush with the rebound. Here comes Hill across the timeline. Almost lost it near the sideline but regains control. Bounce pass to Valentine. Three-pointer not on the way. He passes it up, now throws it all the way to Murray who traveled. So the Vikings get it back and the clock continues running a second or two longer than it should have. Dulles sends in Greg Uckpong. More free throw, uh, more uh, full court press and the Broncos steal it away. Obu has it. Now gets it to Hill, over in the corner, Valentine launches a three and it's good. 43 to 26, the lead is 17. The biggest lead of the night and a foul in the backcourt on the Bush Broncos. This game was very even after one quarter, it was tied at 11. Now the Vikings inbound the ball. And that is Ukpong, gets it deep, gives up the ball, shot in the air, no good, but it is Apega who grabs one and puts it in on the putback. 43 to 28, and it's the first time in a long time that the Dulles Vikings have scored. They were down 30 to 26, but they've been outscored 13 to two. Now we have 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Broncos appear to be playing for the last shot. Hill with the ball just underneath his arm. And now Terry Montgomery comes out to guard him. In the corner, Valentine passes up the three. Over the head, skip pass. In the corner to Obu. Now it is to Hill. Hill looks up at the clock. Between the feet dribble. Stops in the free throw circle. 
Now gets it off to Murray, who leaves it for Obu. Three on the way, good. 46 to 28, five seconds to go. Vikings inbound it behind the back dribble and the Broncos steal it away and that's how the quarter ends. Big quarter for the Broncos. They lead it 46 to 28. We'll be back on VibeFortBend.com. The First Tire and Automotive family wishes you happy holidays with these Merry Christmas of savings. 10% off any and all repairs or $15 off an oil change. Head to the website FirstTireAndAuto.com and claim your savings. First Tire and Automotive has supported school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. FirstTireAndAuto.com You work hard, so you deserve the good things in life, like getting an amazing deal on awesome internet. That's why there's never been a better time to switch to Xfinity. Get the fast and reliable internet you deserve for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. And ask how to score 12 times the speed for the same internet price when you add Xfinity Mobile. Just imagine, faster downloads, more streaming, the possibilities are endless. Or learn how to get a $200 prepaid card when you get gig speed internet during the Xfinity Black Friday sales event. That means powering a house full of devices when everyone's home this holiday season. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now because you deserve awesome internet. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 12 6 Restrictions apply. New Connect Internet 50 megabits per second customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Reduce speeds after 20 gigabytes of mobile usage. Well, in that third quarter, Bush outscored Dulles 22-10, and they lead by 18 starting this fourth quarter. Terry Montgomery driving into the paint, now kicks it back out. It is Nico Walls with the ball for Dulles, and Apega drives the right restraining line, puts it up. He was fouled on the floor, I believe, so... Let's see. Foul called on Kyrie Murray. And it was on the floor foul, so no shots coming, at least not yet, for the Dallas Vikings. And it is Montgomery to inbound from the near sideline. And the ball tipped in the air, and the possession saved by Dulles. As it was Ukpong who grabbed a loose ball. And the Bush fans thought that he traveled, but he drew a foul. And Ukpong will go to the line. Greg Ukpong, U-K-P-O-N-G, 6'1", senior. Wearing bright yellow shoes. Now he has the basketball, and his first shot is up and good. And you know what? That was an and-one situation. I thought he was fouled on the floor. His shot went in, and it was an and one. So, sorry about that. It is a three-point play for Greg Ukpong. And it gets the Vikings within 15 points. It's 46 to 31. Bush on top. Bourgeois sends it to Valentine. Corner three on the way. No good. Rebound fought for and grabbed by Montgomery of Dulles. And he pushes it down the floor for the Vikings. Ends up uh, running out of room near the baseline, and he's pushed out. The officials rule. Now he's looking for someone to get the ball to and does get it into a pega near the right elbow. Moves between the rings. He's guarded there by Mercurius. A pega kicks it back out. And a scoop shot, kind of a wild one by Ukpong. It's no good. But he does draw the foul, and he shows that he's pretty good at doing that. So he got the three-point play on the last Vikings possession. And now he will go to the line for two shots. I'm sure of it. Roger Smith with you on VipeFortBend.com, your broadcast home for Fort Bend County High School Sports. Travis and Austin coming your way at about 7 p.m. First free throw is good, I believe, but I think they inadvertently gave Bush a point. The scoreboard says 47 to 31. I think it should say 46 
to 32. With a double digit lead that gives us a little bit of uh, drama here. Well, a second free throw was missed, but Dulles grabbed the rebound with Apega. And now Montgomery has it between the rings. Gets the ball over to Nico Walls. Now it's Apega behind the back dribble, top of the key. Over in the corner, it is Ukpong. Gives the ball up. Now it is Truscott. Drives in and loses the basketball, but now Dulles gets it back. Apega with a putback to make it 47 to 33. At least that's what the scoreboard says. But again, I think it should say 46 to 34. We'll take a break and we'll see if they fix it during this commercial interruption. We'll be back on VibeFortBend.com. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. The First Tire and Automotive family wishes you happy holidays with these Merry Christmas of savings. 10% off any and all repairs or $15 off an oil change. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. First Tire and Automotive has supported school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. FirstTireandAuto.com. We are back, and this just in, they did fix the scoreboard. It does read 46 for Bush and 34 for Dulles. So the lead is still 18, which is what it was when we started this fourth quarter. Okora four in the game for Bush. He was in the left corner, moved inside a little bit, now kicked it back out to Bourgeois. Between the feet dribble, guarded by Montgomery. There goes Zion, kicks it back to Okora four. Corner three on the way, and it's a little bit long, no good, but the rebound to Aaron Valentine. Valentine goes all the way back to Okora four. They want him to shoot the three, but he passes it up, and he hands the ball to Zion Bourgeois as we move inside six minutes. Bourgeois trying to move in on Montgomery, but now he backs it out. He's between the rings. Okora four. They wanted him to shoot again. He passed it up. Now it's back to a wide open three. He passes it up. Now spins in. Off to a teammate and a whistle. It is a jump ball called as Mercurius had the ball, tried to make a spin move. One of the Dulles defenders tied him up, and the possession arrow favors Bush. Into Mercurius, drives in, off the window, no good. Heavy impact, and he's called with an offensive foul. Apega standing strong and drawing the foul. Still 46 to 34, 535 to go in this district opener for both teams. Bounce pass comes in to Truscott. Heavy pressure in the backcourt, stolen by Valentine. Gets it off to Ubo. No good, rebound. Long one comes down to Terry Montgomery of Dulles. And he almost goes coast to coast, but leaves it for Apega, who goes up strong and gets fouled. And it's either going to be Mercurius or Rania Obu. It is Obu who draws the foul or charged with the foul, rather. Apega drew the foul, and he is at the line for two. First one is good. You know what? Uh, I was doing some very poor math. I was saying it was an 18-point lead, and uh, sorry, I'm way off. It's, it's actually only 12. 46 to 35 is our score, and the lead is now down to 11 after Apega makes the second free throw. Okora four almost lost it, but Valentine there to pick it up. Dribbling with the left hand, guarded by Truscott. Kicks it over to Okora four in the right corner. It is long, no good. Rebound, well, a foul is called as it was Headspeth going over the back of Apega. 
So a loose ball foul. And you know what? I said 46-35, and I thought it was 46-36, but I didn't want to say anything. But they have corrected the scoreboard, and it is a 10-point game. Dulles still in this with 5.06 to go. We'll take a break and be back. Timeout Bush. It's VipeFortBend.com. You work hard, so you deserve the good things in life, like getting an amazing deal on awesome Internet. That's why there's never been a better time to switch to Xfinity. Get the fast and reliable Internet you deserve for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. And ask how to score 12 times the speed for the same Internet price when you add Xfinity Mobile. Just imagine, faster downloads, more streaming, the possibilities are endless. Plus, you'll save hundreds over AT&T. Or learn how to get a $200 prepaid card when you get gig speed internet during the Xfinity Black Friday sales event. That means powering a house full of devices when everyone's home this holiday season. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now because you deserve awesome internet. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 12621. Restrictions apply. New connect internet 50 megabits per second customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Compares monthly service charge for Xfinity 600 megabits per second to at t 500 megabits per second each with one unlimited mobile line for a year as of 10621. Reduce speeds up to 20 gigabytes of mobile usage. Welcome back. The Dulles Vikings fighting hard. With 5.06 to go, they trail by 46 to 36. They have made up eight points since this fourth quarter began, and now Carter Truscott will inbound the ball along the baseline. And he gets it in to Nico Walls. Walls kills his dribble, throws a long cross-court pass to Terry Montgomery. Montgomery looking at the defense and trying to get around Zion Bourgeois, drives left restraining line, dipsy do move. And it's a push called on Zion Bourgeois, who did not agree. And so it'll be free throws for Dulles. And they keep making these free throws, and they can really make this an interesting game. First free throw is good by Montgomery. That makes it a single-digit lead, 46-37. to 37. Martin Wall, head coach of the Vikings, up off the bench with some instructions for Nico Walls in the backcourt. Second free throw is no good. Valentine clears the boards for Bush. And here come the Broncos. Ryan Hill sends it to Bourgeois. Valentine in the corner. Around the horn they go. Bourgeois trying to get a teammate to move into the corner on the left. That's Ubo. Now it's Valentine. Now a kick back into the left corner and passing up the shot is Obu. Hill driving in, draws a double team, almost lost it, sends it back out. Broncos just want to get a good shot. They're in no hurry. Inside Kyrie Murray, short shot, no good, and he's fouled, or Apega, I should say, is fouled as he grabs the rebound for the Vikings. And the fouls are starting to mount up for the Bush Broncos. So Apega walks all the way down to the other end and he'll shoot with his team trailing by only nine, 4.13 to go. After an 18-point spread, an 18-point lead for Bush was what we had after three quarters. We thought uh, we might not have any drama, but Apega misses the front end of a one and no one. And that could, that really hurts you when you're trying to come back. Now we're getting to the four minute mark. Hill playing catch with Obu. Near the midcourt circle. Hill back to Obu. Again, Bush taking its time. They lead by nine. Obu moves in. Kicks the ball back out to Hill. Hill just looking around. Didn't dribble. Just threw it over to Obu. Now in the corner, driving the baseline is Bourgeois. Passes up the shot. Back out to Obu, who's now moving between the rings. Dribbling and guarded by Walls. Now we're under three and a half minutes to go. Still a nine-point lead, 46-37. Valentine into Bourgeois, lost it in the paint. Apega and Bourgeois battling for the ball, and it's a held ball. And the arrow favors the Vikings. Trailing by nine, they get it back. Bourgeois went into the paint. 
and somebody knocked the ball away from him. Bush continues with the full court press. It was working earlier, but the Vikings have been handling it a lot better. But now they throw it away. Zion Bourgeois slipped as he went to the glass. He still scored, amazingly. The lead is back up to 46-37, but a quick basket at the other end. Apega got ahead of everyone, and the lead is back down to nine points. It is 48 to 39. Hill now has it. Truscott guarding him, and he got around him. Shot missed, rebound Headspeth, and now a little floater by Valentine, no good. Hill tries to go up, and he is grabbed by Truscott. Two shots coming for Bush. Ryan Hill, the 6'1 guard. He has got hands on hips, and we've got a lot of tired players here. They've been playing a lot of games during the tournament part of the season. Several wet spots being wiped up as... They're dropping a lot of sweat on the floor. 2.32 to go. This is a good time to reset everything. 48 to 39, Bush leading. Eight fouls committed by Bush, so Dulles is in the bonus. Six fouls committed by the Vikings. First free throw by Hill, in and out, no good. One more coming, and Josh Lee comes in. Greg Ukpong goes to the bench. He'll take in his time, deep knee bend, and he swishes the second free throw to make it a 10-point lead. 49-39, to we'll take a timeout and be back on VipeFortBend.com. The First Tire and Automotive family wishes you happy holidays with these Merry Christmas of savings. 10% off any and all repairs or $15 off an oil change. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. First Tire and Automotive has supported school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. 2.31 left to play in this district opening basketball game. The Bush Broncos leading Dulles, 49-39. to It is the 17th of December and the final day of classes for Fort Bend ISD students. And the same is true for students at several different school districts. And congratulations, kids. You made it to the two-week break. And just as hearty congratulations to the teachers and the administrators and the custodians, the coaches, the cafeteria workers, the bus drivers, especially you bus drivers. What you do is amazing. Thank you very much for your service. Truscott inbounds for Dulles. And here we go, two and a half minutes remaining. And they're down by eight, the Vikings are. Nico Walls got it across the timeline. It went off his foot. He went to save it, and he had to touch the ball while it was on the sideline. Tough break for the Vikings, and now the Broncos have it back. And I think I said it was an eight-point lead. It's a 10-point lead, 49-39. Bourgeois has the ball. Left restraining line shot up no good by Hill. Rebound grabbed by Josh Lee for the Vikings. Dulles pushes it. There goes Truscott. All the way to the hoop, puts it up, rattles it good. 49-41, under two minutes to go. Now it's a full court press by Dulles. Lee is on Hill. Now it is ahead quickly to Headsmith. Easy layup. Dulles had to take some gambles. They had to go all out and try and force a turnover. And they allowed Bush to beat them back down the floor. Truscott, long cross court pass. Gets it back now, right restraining line, right elbow, kicks it back out to Terry Montgomery. His shot is long, no good, but he was fouled. No, there's a loose ball foul on the rebound. It's against Dulles. 
So with 128 to go, it's a 10-point game. 51-41 Bush, and the Broncos have the basketball. Hill dribbling with the left hand and gets it into the front court. Obu. Obu dribbling, guarded by Apega. Drove in, now backed out. Gets it back near the midcourt circle to Hill. Hill now double team, gets it to Obu. Truscott on him. Now back to Hill. And there's an intentional foul by Apega. Not called as an intentional foul, but certainly looked like one that uh, Dulles needed to make to stop the clock and hope that Bush will miss a few free throws and give him a chance to make a late comeback here as they trail 51-41. to 41. This is VipeFortBend.com. Squeaks in the background uh, as players use their souls, S-O-L-E-S, to dry the floor. And the first free throw by Hill is good. The lead is back up to 11, 52 to 41. Dulles made a really good, strong comeback during this fourth quarter. And they got within eight after trailing by 18 after three quarters. But it looks like they may have run out of gas just before they got to the top of the hill. As speaking of Hill, Hill hits the second free throw. It's a 12-point game, 53-41. There goes Nico Walls. Lays it off for Apega, drives into the paint, loses the ball. But now one of his teammates gets it back. That's Truscott. And a timeout, Dulles. We'll step aside and be back. This is VibeFortBend.com. Archer Volkswagen Showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. The First Tire and Automotive family wishes you happy holidays with these Merry Christmas of Savings. 10% off any and all repairs or $15 off an oil change. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. First Tire and Automotive has supported school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. FirstTireAndAuto.com. Hello, fans. This is Bradley Stavano with Neville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. We are back. Final minute. Bush closing out a win here in their first district game. They lead 53-43. Hill gets it to Bourgeois. Quickly inside. Headspeth. And he blew the bunny, but the putback is good. To make it a 12-point game, 55-43. 24 seconds left. Dulles quickly back down the floor. Lee trapped in the right corner. Somehow gets it out of there. Truscott saves it. And now there's a three on the way, and that's in and out. No good by Nico Walls. Bush with the rebound. And here comes Obu quickly to Bourgeois. His shot is blocked. Apega has it. Four seconds left. Three seconds. Lee, three on the way at the buzzer. No good. And our final score is 55 to 43. We're going to say a pretty quick goodbye here because we want to get over there to Austin High School and bring you the game between the Travis Tigers and the Austin Bulldogs. Our game today has been brought to you by Xfinity. First Tyrant Automotive, Archer Volkswagen, the Needville Insurance Agency, Office Depot. And we thank you very much for being a part of VipeFortBend.com. Our final score, 55 to 43. I thank our producer, Rosie Bega. And we'll shut this one down. And at about 7 o'clock, cross your fingers, we'll bring you the game between Travis and Austin. Roger Smith saying so long from Bush where the Broncos win it, 55-43. Goodbye, everybody, for a little while.